Hey everybody, Rocky Minor Figures here. Today we are going to be reviewing the new Marvel Legends Avengers Hulk Build a Figure Wave War Machine figure from the Endgame movie. So let's get started. So first things first, we are going to be taking a look at the packaging and accessories that come with the figure. Then we are going to be taking a look at a closer look at the figure itself and its articulation. Then we are going to uh, see how it scales next to a tape measure and some other action figures. After that, we are going to head to the conclusion of the video. So, uh, yeah, let's start by taking a look at that box. So, get War Machine out of the way. And, um, yeah, let's take a look at the box. And, uh, man, uh, the box was, again, you know, same thing with the box. So the, reason was I, the reason why I said, oh my god, was because, you know, the way this figure was just packed in there was crazy you know there was literally no room for anything else but the figure and the accessories that came with it uh let me go to the back again because i forgot to show off uh the promo art again this promo art uh for the figure in the back and the sides of the box i believe they were done by jerry wilson so props to him for making this beautiful art right here you can check the other figures in this wave i recently already did review for beta ray bill and now i'm doing war machine next is going to be rescue and after that i really don't have any other figures from the wave so again pause if you want to check the bio out for war machine again here's the side of the box again really nice promo art um back to the front here's the top of it a hey, you got the little figure hulk and you got the UPC in case you guys need it. Putting that box away. Now we are going to be taking a look at the accessories that came with the figure. So, um, first off, let me just drop them right here. Uh, let's take a look at these guns now. Uh, the figure comes with two of these to go on the on his uh, the underside of his forearm. So these are really cool. He can hold one in one hand, but I would rather have it, you know, just so you can have it under his forearm. So that, that's a little better, you know, a little bit more accurate to the movie too. Um, not too much to say. There's a lot of, there's a good sculpted detail in this, but uh, not too much color. It is looking like a shinier uh, gray or dark color. So that is good. I'm not gonna show oh, here's the other one they're both the exact same i believe yeah you see they're both the exact same they have a peg over here no pegs into his arm uh, as you saw earlier uh, i'll also them i'll also show you that off uh, in a little bit as well after or in the comparison section but yeah uh if you're wondering it has holes right here you can put blast effects in um, these holes so that's pretty cool now our last accessory is this shoulder cannon and uh i like this one a little bit more because they added the red in with the the figure inside the the barrels right there i like that i think this one's a little bit more shiny i really like that a lot it looks pretty awesome now of course uh putting this on him right now might as well do it putting this on the figure let me just bring the figure out again this is a big beefy figure it's pretty heavy in the box but so this one has a little has a little ball right there pl plugs into that hole right there oh now it doesn't want to plug in i think it got in there you go so yeah it plugs into the hole articulates you know and uh yeah it doesn't articulate all the way back because of the head you know so it doesn't do a full 360 but it moves you know it moves up if i can get it up uh, if you move it up too much it's gonna pop off so i think it can move up that much uh again same thing for if you move it down but moving it down that much and of course it has the side to side motion and take that off for the remainder of this next two sections of the video then you have these uh forearm cannons which just plug in like that and um again he has the hole right there the plug is right there oh my god now it doesn't want to go in there you go there you go now again with one of the hands are open so you can if you want to put put the barrel in there but i personally like it uh under his forearm instead 
But again, that's your preference. If you guys want to do that, uh, that's fine with me. So getting into the figure itself. This figure, I gotta say, is a really nice looking figure. Very accurate to the movie, despite the fact that it's not Iron Patriot colors. It's uh, it's War Machine colors, which, um, yeah, I guess I can work too. I think that was a last minute change because in the trailers and the TV spots, it showed him uh, wearing this armor and not the Iron Patriot armor. But again, it might have been like a last minute change. They might have changed that. Uh, a little bit maybe a week or well this is you know my prediction maybe like a week or two three maybe uh, before the premiere so yeah but nonetheless still a pretty good looking figure getting a closer look at the head sculpt very nice details I really like the details on it sculpted of course you got the white eyes but with the with the red outline to make it look like it's glowing and I gotta be honest it convinces me a lot <laughs> that it is glowing so I like that a lot uh, yeah and getting down to the chest area um very again very well sculpted very well painted um i don't think it it doesn't look too matted but at the same time they didn't overdo it with the shininess i think if it was sh if it was too shiny then it would have maybe uh downgraded this figure a little bit but i feel like hasbro got it just right Again, all the sculpting, all the detail, a lot of hard work put into this figure. Then you have the arms right here. Uh, this is a pliable material, so if you worry that it might break off, um, no, it will kind of adjust. I will demonstrate that in the articulation segment. It will adjust to where it is, but don't do it too far because I tried to like test it out on this side. I kind of popped the glue off a little bit, so don't, yeah, you don't want to do that. Again, really nice figure one open hand on this side here's a, here's a side of his arm really again really nice details the other side um it doesn't have the star right there but again nice details at the fist so both arms are pretty different then getting down to the you know lower torso a lot of details man i gotta give it ha i gotta give hasbro props for this uh you know it looks really good a little bit of marbling right here but it's okay a little bit playing on the legs but uh, again it's not you know it's fine because it's still a lot of sculpted detail on the side of the leg there you have it oh the boot um oh i wonder if you can actually put blast effects in these holes i didn't notice them until now so yeah um going to the back of the figure really quick before articulation here it is again a lot of nice details even on the back of the figure which i like detail on the back of the figure even though it's the section where you're not really going to be paying attention, you know, I still like it because it just shows how much effort and love they put or Hasbro puts into the figures. So again, the articulation, had, he, of course, since it's a bigger, beefier figure, the articulation is limited, but I feel like it's decent enough where you can get him into war machine poses, you know, so um, the head. Oh, I see, I already popped it off. The head can really only move up that much and move down, bury his chin, move. So he can look all the way down or most of the way down. Of course, uh, it can move side to side and not a lot of head pivot because, or a little bit of head pivot. You can tilt his head a little bit. His arms, again, you want to be careful. You don't want to pop off this piece right here. His arms can move out as far as, you know, I want it to go that much. It can definitely move farther up, but again, you want to be aware of the glue. Of course, you can move a full 360. Uh, biceps, is there a bicep swivel? Oh, there is, all right. Got a bicep swivel, bicep cut uh, in there. Single jointed elbows. Here, let me demonstrate this. Single jointed elbows, but I feel like this is good enough for a war machine or for a bigger, beefier figure. It bends in most of the way, so I feel like that's good. And uh, also, the, the the one joint can swivel as well a little bit. And hands move up, hands move down. Now I'm blowing the light. Sorry about that. It does rotate side to side. Same thing for the other hand, even though it's fisted. 
Uh, now, this kind of tripped me out. I thought they did the same articulation scheme with the Power Rangers and the Beast figure on this one, because to me, this looks like a cut right here, which it could have been a cut. I This is, like, this is a full-blown complaint of mine. This could have been a cut, because it really does look like it, but it's not. So, again, torso movement is definitely going to be limited. Um, you can only move... Going side to side, you can only move like that, like that, and can, of course you can rotate. Now forward, oh yeah, this is bad right here. Um, again, I think that extra cut would have been helpful. Uh, can't really move forward and back. Can't really move back either. Uh, I'm sorry to say, guys, if you guys are a big fan of articulation, you're not going to get much of it with this guy. But again, I will ensure you that it, uh, the figure itself uh you can get into some decent poses so you know i've been messing with them so his legs uh move his arms up that way out of the way his legs can do the splits uh like that then going back here his leg can move up that far before it starts to you know move to the side actually move back pretty far see that's pretty good right there oh, uh thigh cut right there got double joint and knees man the detents on this double joint and knees but they don't bend in all the way but i feel like it's you know still again it's a beefier figure it's good enough and then ankles uh a little bit disappointing here ankles move let me move the leg out of the way Ankles move down that much. So, yeah, again, not much. Ankles move up uh, that far. Again, not really a lot. And, of course, Hasbro added their ankle pivot. It's not, uh, again, rubbery piece. Uh, let me move it out of the way. Uh, rubber piece. Uh, let me bring things up. I can't really see anything. Rubbery piece, ugh, rubbery piece right here. So it will move out of the way. So it can move in like that. It can move out like that. So again, that, you know, I feel like they did put a little bit too much effort into the legs than I like. But hey, you know, he needs to stand. So, and he needs a little bit more leg movement. We didn't really get those with the previous War Machines, I believe. So uh, I will bust those out for comparisons as well. So uh, let me put the accessories back on this guy and we can start our. Uh, next section starting with the uh, the height Okay, so getting uh, an idea of how this guy scales again. He's a big figure. So he's gonna scale pretty tall Oh, yeah, he's pretty big. He's I think from my point of view behind the camera It looks like he's standing above a little bit above seven inches again around the seven inch mark So it's not six inches. He's seven inches. So um, again, I know from the camera it doesn't look like that. Uh, it looks a little bit more like a little bit under seven inches, but um, So yeah, he's around the seven inch mark. So that's pretty good. Now. Let's bust up some comparisons All right, so here is the warm new war machine armor next to the um, the war machine from age of ultron and the war machine from civil war uh a couple of things have changed like the positions of the figure i believe um i just came back from watching toy story uh, toy story 4 man i gotta say that movie is really really good and my camera's just moved right now because i'm trying to grab something that i dropped on the floor so yeah I'm a, I'm a little out of it so i must apologize if uh you know i mistake something from something else you know you know how it goes, little mistakes and whatnot, you know, because I'm just still trying to think about the movie and recuperating what I just <laughs> watched. Again, Toy Story 4, really good. Highly recommend it. All right, next comparison. And here's the new Endgame War Machine next to the 10th anniversary Mark 7 uh, Avengers 1 movie uh, Iron Man. And then we here we have him next to the, uh, I'm not sure what to call him. I know he's not a Marvel Legend, but he is Marvel Legend scales. One of my oldest figures, as you can see, is been through some stuff <laughs> through the bathtub through everything I had this thing since i was a very young kid so yeah you know um you know that's a very old figure i just wanted to bring it out for the comparison all right next one 
Then here's the Endgame War Machine next to the Captain Marvel figure and the uh, the Iron Man from the Infinity War movie, also Marvel Legends. Not the best, you know, it's got the light up feature. See how it looks next to the War Machine. Uh, it looks okay, but um, yeah, you know, wonder if this relationship is going to happen in the uh, movies. I doubt it because the actors and the actors uh, themselves don't really like each other in real life, but hey, you know, anything could happen, especially with Disney. All right, next one. So for our last comparison here is next to the Walmart exclusive worthy Captain America, also from the Endgame movie and his wave mate, uh, Beta Ray Bill right here. All right, let's head to the conclusion. So yeah, everyone, this is going to wrap up my review. So now talking about what I really, you know, just recapping what I thought about the figure. I really think this is a cool looking War Machine figure. And um, I know I've seen people do the the frame castle uh, head sculpt or head swap. And it does work. So you could use it for that reason. And you know what? I feel like this figure is very well made especially for customary reasons so you can customize this make it an iron patriot armor a little bit more accurate to the movie or you can make it a uh the the the, the one that frank castle wore or the punisher wore you know put the punisher logo on there i think that'd be really really cool uh, i'm pretty sure marvel legends is going to do something with that down the line uh but yeah again um really love this figure i do wish the articulation was a little bit more improved i'm pretty sure somebody else like sh figure arts or mafex if they had the opportunity to do this figure they probably will do it better articulation wise so i wish you know hasbro would start implementing that uh articulation scheme that they used on the marvel legends beast maybe on their more bigger figures at least to give them more articulation but i think that's really all i have or all the complaints i have for the figure no marbleization no uh no qc issues so far with mine i really do think this is a figure worth picking up even again for the gamestop scalper price i uh i would say again that's what i got i got it for you know 24 dollars but i feel like because this is a more beefier figure it does fill up the entire box i feel like it's a little bit more worth the price so yeah again really love this figure uh, highly recommend it. As for rating goes, I think I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. Not perfect, but still really, really great score. Really love this figure a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe to my new YouTube channel, and let your friends know what I do. I, I would highly appreciate it if you do that, you know, just so I can gain some more followers. Also, go follow my Instagram account, Rocky Mountain Figures. How about to say dot com at Rocky Mountain Figures. And uh, I think that's it. So I'll see you guys on the next review, which is going to be Rescue. All right. See you later.